Hey Stidon here, this tutorial is going to be on using module scripts as tables. So we're going to open the script we've uh, created from the last tutorial, um, and we're going to uh, be referencing this module script in server storage. So I've created a variable referencing that. We're going to call it names module, and we'll call it there. And names table is the required version of that table. Um, so let's have a look at what's in this module script. I've got a load of names here. You could have obviously as many as you wanted. Um, the point is that if we were to put this table at the top of this script, it would look really messy. It would make the whole script hard to read um, and you really don't want to do something like that. So we're going to put it all in here. It makes it easy to edit and find and all that sort of thing. Um, and all we have to do to get this table is just call the module script by using require. And just to prove it's working, I'm going to print a random name. So a random name um, I'm not actually going to choose a random number, I'm just going to choose a number I'm thinking of my head. So we'll say the sixth number, seventh number in the array. And it should print a name now. Uh, there you go, random name uh, Aaron. So that's using uh, module scripts as array, uh, sorry, module scripts as tables. You can do it exactly the same way with a different table, and that's how you use them as tables. So thanks for watching.